fuck this movie. Here are my immediate thoughts, and this will be a spoiler edition of The Front Room. Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. So I just got out of A24's The Front Room. This is the newest. It was advertised as a horror movie, but really it's more of a <sighs> annoying drama. That's what I'm going to call it. When it was advertised as a horror movie, if you watch the trailers, you're going to think that you're going in thinking that it's going to be some uh, some Rosemary's Baby type uh, type of horror movie. Um, but but no, it's it's not anything like that. It's 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 more of a a straight up drama. Um, that yeah, I whatever. So um, before I get into anything, this is gonna be a spoiler edition, and uh, or a spoiler review, and and really, this may be my shortest or my longest review, really depending, because this, honestly, this actually might be my shortest review because there's nothing to this movie. There is nothing to this movie. And what's so disappointing, this is brought to you by Max and Sam Eggers. And they are the writers of The Lighthouse. And if that na their names sound a little familiar, is because they are the brothers of Robert Eggers, who directed The Lighthouse. But he also directed, you know, The Witch and The Northman and Nosferatu is going to be coming out. And that's one of my most anticipated movies of, of the year. Um, so, you know, there there's insane talent attached to this movie. Um, but my God, I mean, it just, it, it, this, this is a nothing movie. This is literally a nothing movie. It is a waste of time. I want to say it's offensive, but it's, it's almost too, no, it is offensive because even if you're like stupid and someone goes to you and says, you know, you have the opportunity to, to learn and grow and change and, and I mean, it's, it's offensively, it's stupid and offensive and offensively stupid and stupidly offensive. And I'm saying this as, as a critic. And I'm saying this as a person of color, um, and, and it's just, there's just so much that enraged me. So let's get into the plot. So Brandy plays Belinda, and she's an anthropology professor, but she's like, it's almost like she's getting pushed out of this job. And this this script is so bad because it just plays. It's just one of those movies that just tries to place obstacles against obstacles against people that just feels a little, I guess, unrealistic when I see it in the real world and, and how things function. And it's trying, this movie is trying to make some sort of statement about race relations or something because Brandy is, is a black woman. She's the main character. She's a black woman. And she's the one who's going to have to literally endure the most shit. And Maybe that's what this movie's trying to say. I don't know. I maybe that's the, the the message of the movie. But I was just watching this, and I was just absolutely floored at how stupid every decision that people made in this movie. And yeah. So anyway, so Brandy is 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 this professor. She's getting pushed out of of this job, and she needs money. Her um, her husband uh, is played by Andrew Burnett. His name is Norman, and uh, he has mother issues. Uh, a guy in uh, a movie named Norman who has mother issues. I mean, yeah, you can kind of see the connection. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so on the nose, people. So on the nose. Anyways, um, his father dies, and he is like all shook up and. Belinda's like, well, what's going on? And Norman's like, well, you know, I, my, I grew up with my stepmother and him. And my stepmother was like a religious fanatic and was just crazy. 
and we just haven't spoken and you know whatever i just they don't want to have her to be to have any part in her lives at all and honestly like literally at that moment Belinda should have been like okay red flag i mean you really haven't said all i mean it really seems like it's been established that the norma really hasn't talked a whole lot about his mother or his upbringing because she seems to a little like take it aback she's like well, yeah, I, I get you. I guess you haven't really talked about her a whole lot, but how bad can it be? So anyways, they get to the funeral and um, Catherine Hunter plays Solange. And, and I'll say this. She is, she's great in this movie, but she is annoying. She is, I wanted to, mur I, there's, there are very few characters in movies that I'm just, that I've ever seen like in their performance and I'm just like, I just want you dead. I just, I just, I just don't care about you and I don't care about your worldview and you're just hideous and you, and yeah. So anyway, so Catherine Hunter Solange is introduced and she, and in the funeral, um, you know, the, the, it says that, um, the the father's final wish was for Norman to take care of Solange in her final years, and the, to sweeten the deal because the script is makes it so convenient that that Norman and um and and Belinda are financially struggling that you know um you know the the father is is well to do is rich. And he'll leave everything to uh, to Norman, and and hey, that's great. You get all this money if you just take care of her. Problem is, Solange is this absolutely annoying racist bitch. That's it. There is nothing else to her. She is so one dimensional. And that is really everyone in this movie is just one dimensional. It is, and and and, and like for example, Norman is just a coward and that's it like how Solange talks to Brandy when Brandy's talking about like how, what, she, what she wants to name her baby uh she wants to name her Fern and Solange is like oh no 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 that you know that's that's horrible and Brandy's and I'm like stand up for yourself no one stands up for themselves in this movie um, so, so there's that, and then they, they, so they, they named the, the baby Lori, but, but whatever, that, that's whatever. And, you know, it's, it's clear that, you know, the movie's trying to make it where it's like, oh, um, Solange is trying to take over as the mother and, just, and wants to take the baby and everything like that. And like I said, when, when you go into this movie, based on the advertising, you're going to think, oh, it's going to be some sort of like, um, like horror or, or religious, even religious exploitation because there are religious elements because, you know, um, Solange is, is basically a Christian fanatic. Um, but it really isn't like, there's no supernatural elements. There's no, there's one scene where when Brandy comes home from having the baby, um, the, Solange has her friends there. And, and the other thing is too, when Solange comes in and, and moves in, um, Brandy and, or Belinda and Norman have, you know, their nursery set up, but Solange comes in and she's like, oh, well, this is my, my room now. And no one says anything. And I'm like, people need to, bitch, no, this is not what you're saying. This is our house. And this is where, this is the room that we are setting up for you. No one said, like, I, it was so frustrating. And, you know, like I said, Solange is, is a racist bitch. She's a racist fuck. I wanted to call her the C word, but I, honestly, I don't think like, even if I did that, YouTube will even allow me to put that movie up, but she is, she is that. And she even has like a, and, and it's, it's so one note and literal. She literally has a um, certificate saying that she's like part of the Confederacy. And there's a, I was a scene where she's sitting at a dinner table. She has an napkin. She holds it up. Like, she's like, oh, look at me. I'm from the clan. Oh. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like a dark comedy or whatever. They're trying to make it funny. But no, it's not. And I don't know if they're trying to just make it offensive. I mean, yeah, you succeeded. But it's just like, or shocking, I guess. But it's just like, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. 
And, and, and I guess there's the thing. So the way Solange behaves, and I don't know how this universe works. It's like, do you not have cell phones in this universe to record Solange's behavior to show how fucking lunatic and racist and horrible she is like there there's of uh, there there are these scenes that are like so obvious that that are gonna happen like you know Solange is gonna make it seem like oh um oh Belinda hurt me so Solange like you know hurts her she throws herself down on on a table and and makes her and like cracks her skull or cracks her jaw and when when Norm comes in is like oh my god what's, what's going going on and he picks up a, a Solange. She's like, smash. That, that always happens. She's like, oh, help me, help me, help me. And every scene, when, at once, once Solange moves into this house, it is just rinse and repeat of her saying, help me, help me, help me. And then, or her blowing a whistle and her shitting herself. And pissing herself. And her having mucus all over the house. And Brandy. Belinda. Is pregnant. Now the other thing too. Um, before I. Yeah. I'm going to get back to her. Yeah. She's pregnant. This, she has to deal with this shit. But she does something really stupid. Because you know. Like I said. They're financially struggling. And even though. Even if this university. of this school is trying to push her out. She needs the money. But she quits her job. While wow, this is how you're pregnant, like what are you doing? I mean, I, and I get it that there's there's things that are happening that that maybe this movie's trying to make some sort of statements about like the state of like I don't know having like something like paid family leave and and the importance of I don't know I don't know this movie is just so off the rails it just doesn't make there's no reason for this movie to exist because I don't know what the message of this movie is supposed to be. And, and 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 I'm saying this again, as a critic, as a movie critic, this movie just, I, I mean, it looks good. The acting is competent. Catherine Hunter is, is great um, as, as, as a villain, but the dialogue the, or the, the situation and, and how it's structured um, is just horrible because in the real world, none of this would actually happen. And Brandy, the like making her like this black woman, um, this African American woman, she would be standing up for herself a little bit. There's no way, no way, because and they even make it seem like well she's supposed to be this powerful because there, there's one moment where she's like, well my name is Belinda, you're gonna say my name properly, and, and there's parallels with certain things that are going on politically in this world, and, and so so I get the timing, but but but. They never follow through with it, and they never follow through with with anything, and and so and so there there are things that are like I think maybe this is the, the really the only supernatural element is there's a uh, a necklace that it has like the the Jesus fish and the cross in it, and when um their baby is born, the baby is just crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. And that goes on for like five minutes. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? This movie is so boring because it's so repetitive. And Belinda takes the this necklace and she hovers it over the baby and the baby stops crying. And she moves it away and the baby starts crying. And she goes to the baby and the baby starts crying. And she's like, oh my God. So they have to leave the, the, the necklace and the, 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 by the baby. And that seems like to be like, the only supernatural element i'm like why is that like i don't that it's never explained like that's never followed through on um there's like you know like there there are moments where it seems like belinda is hallucinating she'll like see like um solange holding uh the the baby and it looks like she's like feeding her and she has like six breasts but I don't, it's like, is that a vision? Where'd that come from? Why is she having that vision is not explained or followed through on. Because then it's like, she's not looking at everything and then it's like real life again. So then she just like, 
take drugs like at some certain moment and why she why she walked into the door she, she, the drugs just happened to kick in like what the fuck like I don't get it I don't understand anything that happened in this movie at all I'm, and really the whole reason why I'm going to say this and I haven't even gotten to like the you know she's Belinda has to like literally continually clean up piss and shit from from Solange and Norman is never anywhere around divorce this man leave this man and I'm like Belinda do you not have any family do you not have anyone that can help you like do you not have any friends like what is does Norman not have any family or friends that can help like what it like put this woman in a home and when she like starts resisting take your fucking cell phone out and record everything she's doing and watch so everyone can see how she's being put it up on tiktok and instagram and whatever because the, she she can make all of these threats and talk the way she talks and she is so like outwardly racist that she would she would she wouldn't like try to pretend like how she tries to make it seem like, oh, I'm so sweet and innocent, maybe around Norman. But even like when when things are introduced, even Norman is like, yeah, I don't want her in my life really. So he clearly knows some, something is wrong with her. So they try to make it seem like, oh, she's tried to set up a rift between Norman and Belinda. But that again doesn't go anywhere because it's clear that Norman knows that something is wrong with Solange and, and he doesn't want any part of her anyway. So it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any fucking sense other than the fact that, oh, these guys are broke and they need the money. So they're just going to take whatever. They're going to take literally shit. Belinda as a black woman is literally going to take the shit of a racist white woman to take, to get money. And then here's the thing, they, they, they go through this rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and then it gets to a point where like in the third act, like Solange is saying, oh, why can't I die? Oh, why can't I die? Oh, why can't I die? Oh, why can't I? And that goes on for minutes. And it's just, it's all that's all it is. It's just an edited montage of moments of Catherine Hunter just being racist and annoying and emotionally and psychologically abusive and no one standing up for anything. There's no police in this universe. No one like is able to document any type of behavior. Like no one, like this, this, this is me. I'm just so, I walked out of this movie and I was just so pissed. You know, there are movies this year that I'm going to have on the, my, my 20, end, end of, you know, 2024 list. And it's going to be the worst of, my God, this, this may be up there. And what, and, and what is so fucking disappointing is it is A24, which is my favorite studio. And it's from the people that, that, that wrote The Lighthouse. So there is potential there. This is the directorial debut. And, and spoiler what happens is Solange just dies and it's like, okay, they have their house back because yeah, um, when Solange moved in, she, she moved in all of her furniture and you know, that was, she, she was just like, yeah, I'm just going to have it this way. And no one stands up to her and is like, what, why, why would you just let her do that? Why would you just let her change the house and just like change the decorations? But, but anyways, she dies. She just dies. And then everything like gets back to normal. The baby stops crying. The baby's because yeah, at some point the baby wouldn't like breastfeed on onto Brandy. Um and and that was just like happening because Solange was alive, I guess. I guess there was there must have been some weird supernatural demonic tie between Solange and the baby. But once Solange died, then the baby was, like, freed of that. I don't know. I don't know. The movie doesn't really explain any of that. And I, I and then Brandy's like, okay, well, she, she's dead. And she has a job interview, and, and it seems like she's, that is, that is going to work out. And, yeah, I'm just, and it's just like, yeah, the movie's, the movie's over. 
literally the movies movies and no um it, it shows like in a flashback that brandy kills salon she, she puts a pillow over her and i'm just like yeah whatever and it's like i mean sure you killed her but i mean you could have just put her in a home too this this movie has no purpose there's I, it, it is not a horror movie it is not a it is just mean spirited and as a person of color i am like so, this is a problematic movie to see a a black woman literally have to spend like 90 minutes 100 minutes cleaning up after this racist white woman and take her shit and not do anything put her in a fucking home brandy put her in her fucking home and when she resists call the cops divorce your fucking husband take your baby get the fuck out of your situation they don't want you. Your husband is a cowardly piece of shit. He clearly doesn't love you. He clearly does. There's a scene where she walks in on normal and he's a Norman and he's like sucking his mother's tit. I think it's supposed to be a hallucination. Maybe. I'm not sure. But it's at the same time the, with the music. And the music is so weird and out there. And the musical choices are... Because it's, everything is confusing. There, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. You don't know what's like reality or not at certain times. But yeah. So, and, and so even if that moment was real. You walk in and you see your husband sucking on, on his mother's head. That dude has problems. Get the fuck out of there. What is going on? This movie made no sense. I and and I walked out of here just just pissed. I am angry at this movie. I am fuming. Max and Sam Edwards, I don't know what you guys were thinking. You guys probably are never going to see this review. And you guys probably don't give a fuck. You guys are successful and and I tip my hat off to you. Um all the best success in the world in the future for you. But seriously, guys, what the fuck? What the fuck was this movie? This was, and I'm saying now, now I'm to put in the, the critic hat away and I'm talking to you as a person of color. What the fuck was this movie to, to create a situation where you have a black woman literally clean up the shit of, of a racist white person and have to endure all of that and all of this repeated embarrassment and degradation um, only for this racist white person to die and then be like, well, that's it. Now that she's dead, everything is okay. Like, what kind of statement are you trying to make? I'm seriously asking this as a person of color. What statement are you trying to make? What are you trying to say with this movie? Are you just trying to make a dark comedy? Are you trying to make a psychological thriller and just trying to use like the, the horrors of race relations as, as a backdrop? Like thematically, what are you trying to do? Like, I want to know. I'm very curious because Lou, you just, all you did was just put a black woman through just a bunch of horrific shit just for that horrific shit to literally just die and that be the, the solution. And just like have no real sense of realistic confrontation. Like why would you write and your character in a way where she would never challenge the oppression that she's under? In the form of calling the goddamn police. And putting her in a fucking home. And standing up to her cowardly white husband. What are you doing? What are you trying to say? I genuinely want to know. Okay. I'm putting the critic hat back on. This movie was a fucking mess. It was just rinse and repeat of... 
Brandy just being put through hell and having a cowardly husband and having no other alternatives to deal with the situation that she's in because everything is just tied to money. And I guess this family maybe deserved what they got because they they needed the money. I don't know. I don't know. But this is a fucking ball. I really fucking hated this movie. As as a person of color, this this movie just really was a gut punch. And, and I'm so fucking tired of movies that take people of color and just torture them for no this for no reason other than just a and this was literally torturing a person of color for no other reason than to just torture them and then have the and then have the the main obstacle just die there's no real there was no real like psychological confrontation between you know Belinda and Solange they're just it was just like should just happen and it just repeated itself and no one confronted it and i even if i i just i yeah this movie sucked fuck this movie and and i i honestly hope and i don't you know what i i i i for 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 movie sakes and i understand that a lot of people work hard on film so i hope everyone that worked on the picture and did the work you got properly compensated but for the product for the overall product itself i hope this movie crashes and burns at the fucking box office god damn this movie was awful this movie was so fucking offensive it was and i don't know if it was trying to be shocking just for shock value or what but i'm i'm walked out of this movie just being like why tell me as as a as a black man what were you trying to say with this movie like tell me no this movie was horrible this movie was the and Maybe some of you may may walk into this movie and get different vibes. That's cool. You have your opinions. We won't agree. We maybe will agree on Catherine Hunter's performance because she would knock it out of the park as a truly detestable, unlikable villain. But I'm gonna be real. This movie was just had no rhyme or reason to exist other than to torture. Brandy, a black woman, put her up against literal ra a wall of racism. Have her endure all of that, and then just have that racism wall come down, and then she's and then everything is just sunshine and lollipops, and it's just like what? Fuck this movie, man! Again, fuck this movie. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to talk about this movie for like almost a half hour because I literally hate it that much. I really, really hated this movie. This movie annoyed the shit out of me. But who knows? Your mileage may vary. You may you may like this movie, but um, I, I hated it. God damn. Fuck shit. Motherfucker. Yeah, those are my immediate, immediate thoughts. On the front room. What did you guys think of the movie? Share your thoughts. Leave your comments. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. So you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot everyone. Take care.